are you doing today? What we're doing today is another Tensegrity model, except for this one is going to be a bunch of chain links that are held together just by one string uh, supporting the links. Uh, there are other chain Tensegrity models out there. But they use multiple strings, but we're going to show you how to do it with one string. Now this big chain link thing here I've got is a prototype, and it was kind of weak on the edges and stuff like that. So. I redesigned it, reprinted it, half that size so it didn't take so long, and those are the ones we're going to be using. But again, <clears throat> what we're going to have here is the links will be supported by a single string running in right up the middle as a 10 security model. So for now what we're going to do is assemble all these parts I've got here. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to, I printed these, they still have the support material on them and um, some of the holes uh, kind of aren't as clean as I'd like to be so I'm going to use my Dremel and drill out those holes, clean up the support material and then start putting this together. All right. This drill bit is a two millimeter drill bit. Okay, I forgot to mention that these parts are all 3D printed and uh, the files for these smaller ones are on Thingiverse and I'll provide the link in the description below. These were printed with PETG, which PETG is notorious that you wind up with some fuzz like you might be able to see here. Whiskers, it's called <coughs> ooze is what's called real fine whiskers. What's nice about them being that fine if you have to have them is you can use a torch to rapidly get rid of them. You just go over them real quickly. If you go if you go too slow, you'll burn up your part. All done. Okay, one of the first things to do is to thread the string through all this. What we're going to use is just some ordinary kite string. That's what we have here, and we're going to thread it. Uh, to make it easier, I made this needle threader. For those of you who have not seen. That, well, if you've done any sewing, you know what a needle threader is. This is my needle threader. Uh, very similar to what you'd use for sewing, except for it's made for a lot deeper holes. The very pointy end down here is um, what you, it's, this is a piece of music wire. It's been folded over really sharp. The point part goes through the hole and you push it through. And once it gets through the other side of the hole, that loop opens back up and you can put the string in there and pull it back through makes it much easier to do what we're trying to do. So we need to make sure the string's plenty long for what we're trying to do and let's see if we can make the needle thread work.
Okay, now we've got them all on the string, all put together. You may want, if you if you really want, you can put super glue on each one of these joints, but these joints are all going to be in compression, so you don't really need to do that. <clears throat> Next step is to uh, tighten this string. We'll show you how to do that. We've got this 2x4 with big nails in both ends and we use that to stretch this string. This kite string is a bit stretchy and that's a good thing because you need that extra stretch to put tension on the string and compression on the links. So let's go. On this end I use what I call a trucker's hitch you can look up on the internet on how to tie one of those, but it's a good way to really tension a string in a situation like this. This little loop makes it where you can pull a really tight knot. This is not going to be tight enough for me to fix that. You can use it like a pulley and tighten the string really, really, really tight. Almost where it's going to break. And you can see how much it's stretching. Then you can hold it in place and tie it off. However you want to tie it off. There we go, and the string's tight, tight, tight. Then what you do is you just come in here with a super glue and accelerant and put glue on each one of these places that the string goes through a link. Okay, it appears that the glue is all dry. I ran out in the middle and had to get more glue. But it appears the glue's all set up. Hopefully it is, because it has to hold all the tension that is gonna be there when I cut the string. So let's cut the string and see how it works. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. <laughs> And there we go. The chain links are not touching each other except when they swing, but they stand up straight because of the tension in the string. Pretty cool. First try, we got it to work. Let me trim off some of the string here. Pretty it up a little bit. And there we go. Magic chain. Who says you can't push a chain? Fantastic.